Hello everyone and welcome back to Sang Flawed Tales of Werewolves Tome 1. We are on day 3, I guess, um, December 7, 1858. Uh, last time, you know, we fought a werewolf and that went okay. So today, let's see what kind of developments are happening. Alright, so loggers from the W.H. Hood Company have opened up a new path. Uh, there are new paths every day. Make sure you take this into consideration when you're placing traps. Okay, good to know. Um, if you... oh yeah. Menu is up there. Thanks, Tooltip, for letting me know. Um, yeah, okay, general standard movement stuff. Not a problem. Okay, so let's see. Wave 1. We're gonna get two wolves over here. And a werewolf. So that's, you know, uh, I wouldn't say it's intense, but it's a thing to keep in mind. What is, what's wave two got in mind for us? Just a bunch of wolves. Well, four regular wolves and two uh, grand wolves, which are basically like big, bad, scary, extra bad wolves. Um, so let's see what we want to do. Um, this time we're not getting any like input from the, uh, what do you call it? The tutorial tool tips, we kind of just have to figure this out for ourselves. So we've got the wolf traps, the hanging nets, and the bonfires, which will give you like a, a kind of a buff to how long between attacks from the wolves. Like the wolves won't come in and attack you right away. Um, so let's put some wolf traps. Hmm. So they're going to come for the house, right? So let's put them here. And here. That seems like a good idea. And where else do I want one? I want something to at least slow down this werewolf, because I'm not gonna... I don't wanna... I, yeah, that's not. So let's put... Let's put a trap here, first of all. And then I'm thinking... I still got 165 action points, so like I've got a lot. Um, but I also have to keep in mind wave 2. So, okay... Are there any wolves coming from this way? Oh, okay. That's annoying. I'm gonna put a bonfire here so that I can kind of... Is that a bonfire? Uh, that's a wolf trap. Well, okay. Maybe I can use a bonfire here also and like lure the... And lure them into the trap? I don't know. I'll put a bonfire there anyway. And... Over there as well. Let's put a bonfire here. And... I'm, not, I'm really not very good at these hanging nets, so I don't want to use them too much. I might set... I'm actually, you know what, it's a good idea. So if the werewolf is there, and these guys are here, I might set a wolf trap here, so that that will for sure get the werewolf, in theory. Um, and then maybe a wolf trap here as well. I don't, want to, I don't know if I, I save up action points or whatever. But we'll see how that goes. Um, this will be interesting, to say the least. So let's start, I guess. Alright, so here's the character menu. Uh, it gives you detailed information about your character's stats, items, and skills. So, to bring an item with you, drag and drop an item from your inventory into an empty space in your pack. So I assume they want us to, I don't know, put the whiskey there or something? But uh, the experience points you have built up until now increase your level, giving you skill points to gain skills with these points. Click on the skills button. That makes sense. I'm, I'm clicking on it. Oh, I see. Okay, so here's our skill tree. Um, I haven't really looked at this actually too much. But I assume this is our starting point. You can see this red line is uh, our level currently. And so these are the skills that we can unlock. So what do we got here? Bonfire level 1, Trapping level 1, Bloodthirst. After you kill an enemy in melee combat, you heal for 2% of your maximum hit points. That's nice. Um, marksmanship or Rage permits the accumulation of up to 2 Rage points in execution of an enraged attack, causing additional damage. Intriguing. I'm going to go with Bloodthirst, though, because that seems like a thing I'd want to use. Alright, so we confirmed that, so that's done. So let's go back. And, um, yeah, so we've got this axe and we've got this musket. I assume later on we can get 
new or better items. I know there's uh, different bullet types, holy bullets, silver bullets, but right now we're just working with regular bullets, my XP meter, what day it is, what level, how much money I have, general stats. Um, eau de vie, uh, let's see, gives plus, let's, yeah, let's bring that with us just in case because we've got a werewolf right off the bat. My wolves found them, all three of them. They've cornered them in a cabin east of the village. Now, you have to sign this document for me. What? By signing this, you are giving me custody to all the souls of the villagers. When night falls, they will possess the beasts of the forest and transform them into werewolves that will carry out all of our orders. <laughs> out of the question. Sign. Duress. I will never consent to your vile demands. Quiet, you whiner, and think of the pleasures you'll enjoy when our werewolves bring you back to the woman you desire. Also, how would you like to be appointed a cardinal in Rome? Rome? You said Rome? That is my fondest dream. Alright, so um, I think I missed recording a... Uh, cutscene before that one. Um, basically, uh, I think it got through in one of the previous cutscenes. Josephine was run out of the church and stuff because she was accused of, like, you know, trying to get it on with the priest. But really, it was the priest trying to get it on with Josephine. Alright, so I think my traps are working. That's what it sounds like, anyways. I'm going to, I guess I should press control and not shift. Alright, so my, no, my rifle is already um, set up. I'm going to go this way because I can hear the werewolf hitting all the traps. I'm going to turn on this, turn on, I'm going to light this bonfire and... Alright, so I didn't get a headshot, but I did get a fair bit of damage done. Now you'll notice in my lower left hand corner there's kind of a wolf's head and some numbers. That's the fear rating. That's what, that's the buff that this bonfire is giving me. It's increasing the time until that werewolf is going to attack me. And come on, Joseph. Headshot? No, not headshot. But, uh, oh, okay. Nice werewolf. Nice werewolf. Stay a little bit further away while I, you know. Oh, crap. Okay, so, bonfire's out. Um, so, we're doing it. But it's okay, because I took a lot of his uh, health away with all those gunshots. And um, I think the, the chickens are under attack, which I guess I failed to protect. Because I, I thought they would just come for the house. Come on, what is happening? There we go. Okay, so that's going on. Now we should probably sprint towards the field to save the chickens. Oh yeah, as you can see up in the upper right hand corner, the barn's almost destroyed, so I failed. Failed! You will begin again at nightfall, keeping all your traps, items, and skills suggested if you don't want to make major cha changes to your strategy. Um, let's actually start at dawn, you will begin the current day again in the morning before you set traps, bought items, etc. Because that's suggested if you want to wipe the slate clean and start a new strategy, which I do because I did not strategize very well. Okay, so anyways, like I was saying about the uh, cutscene, basically, so the priest was trying to get it on with Josephine. Josephine hit him with a candelabra and um, then he blamed her the whole thing. So the challenge was chasing after her. That kind of came through with the cutscenes. But then um, what happened also was then the devil came to the priest and was like, hey, so I see you like that chick. And um, I see that she kind of rebuffed you and uh, I'd be willing to help you out with that kind of thing. So yeah, that's, that's what's happening there. Um, not very good that the priest is, you know, in cahoots with the devil. So, yeah, that's that's what's happening there. Um, what else should I do? 
to save this barn. I don't think they can come through there. So I've got that and I've got that. How many? Is it two? I feel like maybe that should be enough. But I'm not sure. I'm gonna put... Hmm. Like, it's tricky because I really want to focus on the werewolf because he's, you know, the biggest, baddest dude around. <laughs> and, um, yeah. I'm just gonna kind of use as many traps as I can. Because, yeah, I do have a fair few action points. And so we should be okay. But just a reminder, what is my situation with wave 2? Okay. I feel like wave 2 shouldn't be too bad, hopefully. Um, yes. So, I think that should be better. Well, uh, I still have 65 action points. I might as well um, put down some more traps just in case, right? So, there we go. Just in case. <laughs> Four traps against potentially two wolves. I think that should be okay. So let's go. Alright. So we all set up. Wave two or wave one is coming out. And um Yeah, I wanna hold off lighting this bonfire until the wolf is a bit closer. But I might as well light it, I guess, just in case. Um, alright, so I gotta keep an eye on the minimap to see what those uh wolves up in the corner are doing. Um it looks like they are, in fact, heading towards the barn, and they are going to get caught in the traps. Yep, one just got caught in the trap and died, and nope, the other slipped through. So that's not great, but I really need to focus on the uh, werewolf. Who should? Oh, I lit the wrong bonfire! Shoot! Um, where is he? Oh, he's around the side. Ah! Run away to the bon- Oh, my bonfire went out! Ah! This is not going nearly as well as I uh, thought it was going to. So, I mean, I did get a shot off, so that's good. That's better than not getting a shot off, because I'd be really in trouble then. Um, the barn's taking significant damage, even though it's just the one wolf. Luckily, alright, so he's dead now. So let's hightail it over to the barn before that one wolf gets it. He managed to evade three traps. What a jerk. Alright, and I don't... Oh, there we go. I used up a lot of my uh, stamina before. Alright, can I... Where is this wolf? There he is. There's the wolf. Come on back around so I can shoot you, though. Alright, so we're set on that. Where is he? There he is. Boom... No. Yeah, boom headshot. <laughs> I was gonna say, eh, maybe not boom headshot. But alright, let's uh, real quick run back so I can get to the bonfire. I lit the wrong bonfire, and so that's not ideal. Um, come on, I ran out of stamina, so I can't even run. I gotta go light this bonfire real quick, though. Alright, lighting this. Oh gosh, here they come. Okay. Not great. And um, yeah, I've been detected. That's not terribly surprising. But, uh, hopefully I can get at least some of these guys. They're circling close though, so that's uh, not what I want. Once that number in the corner that's 30 right now gets to 40, I'm doomed. Uh, okay, so... Didn't get a headshot on that guy. Uh, still got another big wolf over there. I think I should focus on those big wolves though. Alright, almost headshot. Or Yeah, no, it was a headshot, but because I guess it's a bigger wolf. Oh no, my campfire went out. Alright, gonna focus on taking down that guy. Alright, one's dead. Um, shoot. Uh, one, use up my... Alright, so I'm get back to full health. Um, I might have used that a bit prematurely, but I think it's okay. I've got that bloodlust perk, remember. That's why you see those two little red squigglies coming from the wolves when I kill them. Uh, that's what that is. So I think I did it. I think I did it. Yay! Complete the last tutorial. Yay. <laughs> okay. So I survived wave one and the night, so I got 105 XP. I got 86 cents. 
barn all is almost destroyed, which isn't great, but I'm level three now and I got my green success stamp. Yay! Okay, continue. What's the matter with your sister? Don't really know yet. Strange things are happening. Tell me about it. I was going to the W. Hood Company to get men to help me fix the bridge to the village, only to find out that the camp had been attacked. We found guys that had been half-eaten. Not a pretty sight. They say there are vile beasts prowling around here. We'll see about your troubles a little later, Miller. The important thing is to get the bridge fixed so we can save our sister. Joe, run to the village and get Dr. Lamontagne. Bring him back here as quickly as you can. Josephine is too weak to make the trip. Say, sister, I suppose you saw Dr. Lamontagne in the village. My little sister's very sick and was sent to get him. No, he hasn't been seen in two days. What's more, ever since the church burned down, the priest hasn't been showing himself. He doesn't want to see anyone. You know, there are people who say that your sister is a witch and that it was all her fault. I'm not surprised. So there's nothing you can do for us? The best I can offer you is divine peace. Would you accept my blessing? Bless me? Uh, I'm all yours. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alright, so we are at the convent? I don't- this is weird. Um, at the convent you can bless your weapons and bullets to increase their effectiveness against diabolic creatures. So, um, I guess we'll, we'll get old Pine X blessed. So, uh, I can bless this item if you wish, only on the condition that it be used to defend the cause of God. Um, Simply click on the bullet icon. Oh yeah, bullets. May this bullet pierce the hearts of the creatures of the devil. So now we've got a holy bullet. So that's cool. Um, I guess one more. Couldn't hurt, right? Alright, so we've got two holy bullets. That should be enough for now, I think. Welcome to the village of Wolvesvale. To enter a shop, just click the building to return to your house. Click on the road. Okay. Um, well... Um, so these are all the buildings, but I think I am going to say pause for right now and, um, say that's the end of episode two. So thank you very, very much for watching. Next time we'll, I guess, explore the town a bit, see what's going on there, I'll figure out what to do with these holy bullets we've got now, maybe, uh, work on trying to get the priest to admit that he's working for the devil now? I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So yeah, thanks for watching. And, um, let me know what you think in the comments, subscribe if you don't already do that, and uh, follow me on Twitter and stuff and talk to me on the internet. It's cool. All right. See you later.